the neurosurgery residency at Jefferson is one of the top residency in the country, if not in the world. Neurosurgery is not just a technical field. You have to choose the right operation and you have to be able to execute that operation in a perfect way. A core part of being at Jefferson is knowing that you're gonna leave here as a master surgeon. It starts off by having ownership of the patient and really caring about the result on how that person's gonna do. So whenever you say Jefferson, uh, people would say the powerhouse, not only in neurovascular, in spine, in functional, in tumors. It's a really prestigious institution we have a dedicated vascular hospital, Jefferson Hospital for Neuroscience. It's very unique in the sense that it's an entire building and it's dedicated for the neurosciences. What that means in terms of training is it just makes things so much more smooth and easy for the resident. You don't have to fight to get an MRI slot. All you have to do is pick up the phone and get an emerging CAT scan because this is a neurosurgery hospital. This is very unique because we have not only the neurosurgery service that manages the surgical aspect of the patients, but we also have a dedicated neurocritical care team that we work very closely with that helps us manage our patients in the ICU. Another thing that's unique to Jefferson is we have a dedicated team of neurohospitalists. These are internists who have decided to subspecialize in the medical management of neurosurgical patients. We have four different divisions, not including our trauma and critical care, which is fifth. We have a total of 15 neurosurgeons in the department. There's a lot of faculty, and there's a lot of one-to-one -one interaction between the residents and the faculty, and really individualized learning and care for the patient. Our graduates will have both an open cerebrovascular degree and an endovascular diploma. Long time ago, neurosurgeons used to do only open techniques. They wouldn't do endovascular. Our chairman, Dr. Rosenwasser, was the first neurosurgeon in the world, not just in the country, to be trained in also endovascular. What Dr. Rosenwasser's philosophy is, is that you treat the patient and you treat the disease. You don't treat just based on the skill set that you have. As a resident, you're gonna learn how to do tumors from a specialized tumor surgeon. You're gonna learn how to do vascular from a specialized vascular neurosurgeon. That's the way to learn. In our program, we do about 15, 1600 spine operations a year. So every resident who graduates here is incredibly comfortable with all the nuances of spine surgery. Our chief residents will graduate on average between 1,300 to 1,800 surgical cases. That's a huge experience. If you think about when you get out there and you have to make that first decision the day on your own, you are prepared. One of the things that's really phenomenal about being a neurosurgeon at Jefferson is that we are truly valued by the institution. Both the leadership as well as the hospital have this idea that a surgeon needs the right tools. So they allow us to always purchase, acquire, develop those tools. Whenever there's a trial about a new device, we are part of it because we are so busy, we can enroll a lot of patients. We were one of the first in the country to acquire the endovascular robot. Robots are being used for open surgery, but not for endovascular. And we were one of the pioneers in using that. Jefferson has been ranked as the most academically productive residency program in North America. Our general mission is to advance neurosurgery. Not only are we trying to be innovative in the surgeries we're doing, we're also trying to be innovative in the way we train our residents. We take wellness to a totally different level at Jefferson. All of the residents have multiple mentors. They're constantly talking to us. They're letting us know what's working for them and what's not. I know that every day when I come to work that the faculty are always going to push you to be better and to be the best surgeon you can. I am most proud about the culture of this program. The culture is actually defined by the residents. They have a social life. They often hang out together. Everyone knows everybody. It's like a little family. My co-residents are some of my best friends and people who I know will be lifelong friends. There's no better feeling than seeing your co-residents succeed at something. Philadelphia is really a friendly city for our residents. The neighborhoods that are adjacent to the hospital are great neighborhoods to live in. And I don't think residents should underestimate the ability to be 10 minute walk from where I operate, especially with the hours that we work as neurosurgeons. It's a cosmopolitan city. It's close to New York and Washington DC. Some of my favorite things about Philadelphia is the dining scene. A lot of Philadelphia chefs have really gained a lot of traction and recognition on the national level. It's a wonderful, vibrant city. It's a place that I'm I'm proud of. Our residents are highly sought after because places know they're gonna get a 
technically excellent surgeon, but they're also gonna get somebody that's really driven to be great. I think it's the best place to train, it's the best place to stay on faculty, and then it's the best place to train the future generation. I don't think people look at their job here as a job. I really think our residents and our faculty look at this as a mission.